Hi, I'm Andy Pareda. I'm a quilting instructor for Craftsy.com. And today I have a tip on quilting feathers. So in order to quilt feathers without having to stop and start your threads a lot, what I do is I quilt up to the end of a feather, like this. It requires turning your work a bit and then bringing your needle back into the batting, but not through the back of the quilt, to the point where the next feather starts. So we bring it out, let it travel through the batting. Oops, and slippery hands sometimes don't work very well. There we go. Okay, so now we start quilting again down the next feather. So we're quilting this second feather. We're gonna go up to this intersection with the next line. One more stitch to the line. And then we're going to go up here where the spine of the feather is. And I'm going to travel again through the batting and bring my needle tip out right where the line intersects with the spine and we're going to continue quilting feathers. So you can see that this really helps you not have to stop and start your thread continuously and put a lot of knots in your work. To learn basic hand quilting technique, I invite you to join my class, Hand Quilting, Heirloom Design and Technique on Craftsy.com.